Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and I make videos about fishing and spear fishing here in California. And here we are in north of LA at one of my favorite dive spots. And my buddy Spencer, after I got done pole spearing this little trash fish, which I made a video in the link above, uh, he turned me on to harvesting sea urchins, specifically the red sea urchins. If you've seen the purple ones, which are pretty bad for the kelp, you could eat those too, but these big red ones are just packed full of roe. They're super tasty, and he gave me a couple to take home and practice opening them up. But before we get into opening them, definitely crush that like button so that we can tell the YouTube algorithm to send us more cool fishing videos. And I want to just be clear, these things are stinky and messy. If you can, try to do this process at the beach to separate the uni from all the other nasty bits but um let's also dive into some of the biology here is called aristotle's lantern this is the mouth of the sea urchin all the little spines kind of bring all the food particles to the mouth and something that you should also know is we're going to turn this uni which you can eat raw into one of the most tasty pasta sauces you'll ever have so if you stay to the end of this video you're about to just blow your mind with how good you can make uni taste so today you're going to witness me learning how to do this i watched a video of a sea urchin diver and how he opened them so we're going to try it his method some guys use two spoons like my buddy spencer this time we're going to actually just smack it down the middle with a knife pull it apart drain the water in here and then we're going to get a spoon and take out all the row. So this is the bottom of this red sea urchin. As you can see, this thing is super spiky, it's still moving a little bit. This is the mouth, it's the beak. What's crazy about the sea urchins is that any kind of kelp or fish or any kind of material will get stuck on these spikes and it will slowly work itself to the mouth where it's eaten. But let's take out the row so we can turn it into some uni pasta with linguine. So we're gonna take this knife and we're gonna smack it right here. Ooh. It's a little harder than I thought it was gonna be, but there it is, it broke. And there. Here's the insides. As you can see, there's a lot of sea salt water in here. Here's the mouth. Wow, that's crazy. I've never seen the mouth. Look at that thing. Wicked. All right, so now that we've broken open this uh, urchin, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't smell that great, but I may have some salt water that I made here, and we're just scooping it out. I mean, it's not the prettiest row you'll ever see, but not bad for something that's in our backyard. Just a little bit here. Overall, not super impressed. Okay. I don't know if I really like this method. All right, we're gonna clean that in a second. So the last method, which I thought that this first one was a little bit, a little bit too brute force for my liking. Cut around the mouth. Two spoons, like this, and you put it down in between. Ugh. Now our job is to take off our gloves and clean it up and separate the dirty bits from the uni. All right, now to clean the uni, we just take our hands, kind of wash it off, make sure it's clean. Yeah. Should be ready to eat. <laughs> it's 
So you can just take a look at this. Here it is. I'm gonna do the rest of them, but then I'll show you how to make the pasta next. All right, so we have the pasta being cooked. Right now we're gonna focus on the sauce. It's kind of funny, my dad, when I was growing up, would always say, it's always about the sauce that I never understood. Now I get it. The sauce always makes the dish. But let's make this uni sauce right now. So we have this little cheap burner that I got at H Mart a little bit ago. You mean business. So we're gonna first brown up the garlic. I'm gonna use a little avocado oil. I'm just gonna throw on some chopped garlic. If you have the uh, fresh stuff, definitely use it. I don't at the moment. Ooh, hear that sizzle. Ooh, careful. All right, so now we have the garlic browned. To cool it down, we're gonna add about a third cup of cream. I turned down the heat just a little bit. We're gonna reduce this before we add the uni. All right, while that reduces just a little bit, we'll turn it down just a tad. And we want to save the best two pieces of uni for decoration. So here's our uni right here. We're going to save the two big pieces. Put that off to the side. All right. So the rest of this uni, I'm going to kind of mince it up a little bit. And add it to our roux. Add it to our sauce. We're going to add just a little bit of butter as well to give it a little bit more fat. You can start to smell that uni. Just mash the uni a little bit. You guys gotta remember, this is the first time I'm making this, so there might be some mistakes. Well, that's the whole point of cooking, right? Test it out, see if it works. If it does work, let's see it in the taste test. This smells like the dang ocean right now. It smells good. So this recipe really calls for angel hair, but I, I like thicker pasta. But we're going to add it in here. And then the goal is just to flip it around. Take this, put this in the bowl. A nice piece of fresh caught. All right, so here it is. We have our uni sauce. We have our fettuccine. Taste test. Let's see what this is like. First time really eating uni outside of a sushi restaurant. Oh, that's so rich, so creamy. The uni flavor is is there. It's kind of like a little kiss of the ocean. The garlic isn't too overpowering. I know if you put too much garlic, it's gonna be a little, little too much, more like garlic noodles, but here, here is the piece of uni. Let's try it. Oh my God. Oh, it's so rich. That's good, okay, that's good. That won me over right there. I wasn't a big uni fan at the sushi restaurants. Now I am. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you cook this yourself. If you do, definitely let me know. Shoot me a message on Instagram. Definitely leave me a comment down below if you have any other uni recipes. And until next time, stay safe in the water. See ya.